to a Google Drive client. This Google Drive client will be installed on your computer. You will sign into it with your Google account. So how do you find that client? The first thing you'll want to do is down here in the lower left hand corner, you'll search for Google Drive and you're going to look for the option or the icon that's the Google Drive app. So from there, I'm going to click on where it says Google Drive app and you'll have a screen where it's going to prompt you to sign in with your browser. Now what this client does, what this app does, is it connects your Google account to your desktop. So for users who utilize Google Drive, um, or even those users who utilize My Documents, uh, or Documents, depending on the name that you see on your computer, um, or the H Drive, all users will need to sign in with the browser to this Google Drive client. This Google Drive client will serve multiple functions, but one of those will give you the ability to save your documents, your Word documents, your PowerPoints, your Excels, your Microsoft files to the Google Drive right here in this Windows File Explorer. So we're gonna sign in with our browser. And when we sign in with our browser, we'll see that the Google Drive client is connected to our Google Drive account. So I'm gonna click sign in with browser. I'm gonna type in the credentials. Okay, now that I'm signed in with my Google Drive credentials into the Google Drive client, you might get a, a message here that your files are loading in Google Drive. To confirm that you're signed in, you can click on the little carrot down here in the lower right hand corner and you'll notice a Google Drive icon that's lit up and you can look to see that you are signed in to the client. So what that means for you is you have connected Google Drive, your Google Drive account, to your desktop. When I click on our file explorer, you'll notice that I now have a Google Drive icon here. And when I click on that, I have a My Drive and a Shared Drives. So for our users that are Google Drive users, you're very familiar with this. You're familiar with the My Drive and the Shared Drives. Those of you that use My Docs, or maybe it says Documents here for you, um, your documents and those files will still be available to you. So now that we've got the Google Drive client connected, I wanna slow down and pause for just a second and recap what we're talking about here. Those users that save their files under My Docs or the documents, depending on what view you have, and those users that save their files under the Google Drive, so maybe it's the web version or it's maybe you've used this client before, there's very little change that's gonna come about. You won't have much impact that comes from this transition. The users that utilize the H Drive, however, they will have the most impact during this transition. Those users that utilize the H drive to save their files will need to begin using either My Docs or Documents here or the Google Drive to save and organize their files. So again, I'll repeat that. Any user that's utilizing the H drive as their main storage platform, it's where they save their files, where they pull up their files, normally it would be located in this area of the, of the window, will need to begin to utilize Google Drive or My Docs. So what does that look like? If I were to open up a Word document on my computer, and let's say that I'm ready to save this Word document on my computer, I would go to File and Save As, and I'm gonna browse for the location in which I wanna save the file. Now, in the past, this is specifically for these H drive users, you would have saved this file to the H drive. Now what you'll be able to do, and what we encourage you to do, is to save your files either to My Docs or Documents, depending on, again, what it says here for you, that would be the same thing. You can then organize those files and store them here, or you can save those files in your Google Drive. And My Drive and Shared Drive is gonna be the exact same setup as you might see from the website of Google Drive. And so from this window here, this is My Drive on the web version of Google Drive, that is going to be the exact same window or the exact same setup here. It's just the client side on the, on the PC. So H drive users will need to save these files. So in this example, I'm going to save this to my docs and I'm going to click save here. And now that file is saved inside of my documents. And once it's saved inside of my documents, I can just begin to work from there. I can pull that file up from my docs. So again, it's important to reiterate, if you are an H Drive user, you will see the biggest impact during this transition, and you will need to save and begin working with your files either from My Docs or the Google Drive. 
If you are currently a MyDocs or Documents user, you will see very little change. If you are currently a Google Drive user from the web, you will see very little change here. You can continue working as you would normally work. The H Drive users are the ones who will be biggest impacted. Um, so you'll, again, you'll need to start saving those files either to MyDocs or Google Drive. So what happens to your current files in the H Drive? All current files in the H drive will be copied over to the Google Drive automatically under the My Drive section of Google Drive. So from the client side, from the PC side of things, I can see right here, it says files from H drive. MIS is working to get these files copied over automatically. They will appear in your um, My Drive of the Google Drive. So then for, once they're there, you can open those up, you can move those, organize those, store those wherever it is that you need to have them stored. That's an important part. So again, there's nothing that you have to do from the H drive side of things. Those files will be copied over automatically. You do not need to move them um, manually. It'll be an automatic process. Uh, finally here, MIS is also going to include a folder inside of your Google Drive that says for MIS use only. So it's very important that we don't mess with that folder. We don't rename that folder. Uh, you don't want to tweak that folder or anything like that. The for MIS use only is going to serve as a backup to your desktop and possibly other areas of your computer. And so you won't, again, you won't want to go in there. You don't want to pull that open. You don't want to change the name or anything like that. The for MIS use only will appear um, in your Google Drive. And again, we're looking at Google Drive from our client here. Uh, if we were to go to the website of Google Drive, you'll see that it's also appearing there. Um, but that folder that is in there, We'll have backups of desktop items and other things that MIS might be able to pull in case like uh, that you lose files or you don't have access to files that were on that computer. That's one backup. Um, and again, don't change any of the name here. Don't go in there and tweak any of the, the settings there. Just leave that, that folder alone. And the same goes with the files from the H drive. It's best to not change that name or to go in and mess with the path or where that's at. Just kind of leave those files as they are. Um, you can go into the H drive and you can take some of your old files and things that you see and you can reorganize those if you needed to. Just don't mess with any of the, the file name or the folder setup inside of, of those folders there. So that's a brief overview of our transition, of our change. Again, what's most important to know is if you are a MyDocs user or a Documents user, if you save your files here, there is going to be very little change for you. You will continue working as you're working. If you are a Google Drive user, either from the client or from the website of Google Drive, there is very little change for you. Continue working as you're working. If you are an H Drive user, that is, well, those are the users who will feel the biggest impact of this change. Um, it is important to note you will need to begin to save your files either in the Google Drive or under the document side of the PC. Remember that your files will automatically come over there's nothing that you really have to do um, to get them over there. That will happen when uh, you'll be notified before that happens. You'll have an idea of when that's going to happen. Um, and then finally, uh, just to, to remind everybody, you will want to sign in to the Google Drive client on your desktop. You can find that client by searching Google Drive in the search menu here. You'll click on the app. Once you click on the app, you'll sign into the client. And then that is how you're connected to Google Drive in the file explorer on the Windows side. So if you have any questions or any concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can email us at tosa at bay.k12.fl.us. Also be on the lookout for some upcoming Google Drive trainings that we'll talk about and go into some more detail um, on this topic. Those should be coming up here very soon in the next couple of weeks. You can check Ames or the BDS Launchpad for opportunities for training on the Google Drive.